Hi everyone, today we will talk about ChatGPT. Uh, probably you already heard about ChatGPT, uh, but this video is specifically for those viewers uh, who only heard about ChatGPT but try to understand it, but it is not making sense for them or they having difficulty to understand how to use ChatGPT. So in this video, um, I'm recording a full course on ChatGPT in terms of how to use ChatGPT, I will take you through from the scratch like uh, you might not know how to make an account with ChatGPT, how to use it and most important where ChatGPT could be useful, how to use ChatGPT, uh, some ideas I will share some useful information even for the businesses how you could use ChatGPT. Uh, so ChatGPT is a new product uh, offered by OpenAI so OpenAI launched ChatGPT last year, November 2022. Um, so it's been, it was approx mid of November. So it is one and a half month, nearly one and a half month by now uh, since the launch of ChatGPT. But it is not a full release for now. It is a research release and the purpose of the research based release of ChatGPT is that because OpenAI is still wants to improve ChatGPT but it is already so improved and uh, very very good it is. So it, this when you go on openai.com or, or in case if you forget about the whole full website you go on google.com and I'm sure you will just know the word, remember the word ChatGPT. Just write ChatGPT on Google. On the top, it will give direct link of ChatGPT. On the top, supposed to be the direct link, but here it is coming. Before it, there are some ads. OpenAI. Or you, if you could remember the website, you will just go to openai.com this is the website and then on the top they're saying introducing chat gpt research release so chat gpt is what is chat gpt chat gpt is name of the ai artificial intelligence based product it is actually a chat bot um, artificial intelligence bot so in other words you can say it is a chat bot which is powered by ai AI means artificial intelligence okay and uh, now by default I was already logged so when I click on chat uh, try it open a new tab and I am already logged in so I just wanted to take you through if I was not logged in what was going to happen so in case so so that you know that how to use chat GPT so let us start from the scratch we go to openai.com and click on try the research version of chat GPT then it asks you to either log in or sign up I will not be able to sign up again because it requires your phone number as well and I'm already signed up with them but I will just show you just one last step I will not be able to take you through but I will show you some initial basic steps if you click on sign up it asks you you can create your account using email address or you can do it through Google or Microsoft account so let's try with Microsoft account and my email address with Microsoft at nadir underscore alisha at hotmail.com password so that Microsoft can give permission to OpenAI so that they can be synced and create an account with OpenAI now it is asking the cell phone number so cell phone number my cell phone number is already registered so what happens on this step when you put your cell phone number in then open AI sends you an SMS on your cell phone number to verify your number and in a new window it asks as a verification and then you punch in that code and then it gets you logged in if you enter correct code 
and once you have you are logged in then you have a sign up then you can log in as well um, to have an account with open AI is not only about using so for what I'm trying to say now is when you create an account you are not creating an account with chat GPT only you are creating an account with openai.com so which gives you a freedom of n by not only using chat GPT but using this openai account you can also use a lot of other products of openai and in the beginning they even to their commercial products they give you some X dollars approx 15 to 20 dollars they load on your account uh, as a free to use all the products and all the API's I will take you through there as well so I am logging to open AI and I'm logging to now chat GPT again how to reach here you could also directly write on the browser chat.openai.com forward slash chat and then this op if you are already logged into open AI this page will open if you not log into open AI then it will ask for login authorization and then it will redirect you to this page okay so on this page it gives you some examples that what type of conversations you could do with this uh, chatbot powered by AI so in other words it is very yeah it is very intelligent chatbot and it has lots of information in the beginning when first time I tested this chatbot I thought maybe it is it is in a form of chatbot but in a it is probably a search engine but it acts as a chatbot and any question I ask it goes to the to it activates its search engine capabilities and then it brings you the data through the search then I realized no it is a chatbot and it has its model very massive model so basically the truth is I think I wonder how long it took them but they compile the data they have all of this data so any information they brings you they brings they already have that all data so any question you ask they have the data plus they, it is smart as well means it can do certain things for you like it is one example is machine learning uh, that gives this artificial intelligence capabilities to do certain tasks for example if I ask this AI what is one what is one plus one equal to what what is the answer of one plus one now in any chatbot or AI powered chatbot they will not put in the model that if anybody asks one plus one give the answer to so if we will do that then there will be millions of permutations so basically that machine learning is teaching that AI bot how to do those computations those calculations so it is smart enough to do certain calculations so not everything is preset set data in a form of uh, chatbot uh, model but it is smart enough with its machine learning capabilities that it can do certain computations it can also generate some if you are a programmer or know about programming it could generate certain programmings it could help you if you have a source code already it could help you <coughs> if you have any errors on your programming it could help you to fix those errors so so much it can do so this is just the basic examples it is giving you some of the capabilities remembers what user said earlier in the conversation it can remember what before, earlier you said also user to provide follow-up corrections it has some limitations as well may occasionally generate incorrect information yes so this I have noticed sometimes it could be incorrect but uh, in most cases it is quite it goes close to the accuracy but I will give you some examples in this video about inaccuracy as well so now we will start with some examples to show you the capabilities of this chat GPT uh, I will even start with a mind-blowing example so for example my name is I'm telling it that my, my I'm telling this AI that my name is Nadir uh, can you write a detailed 
CV and cover letter for me I have done master's degree in computer science and I have over 15 years of development experience using various programming languages and database architecture so I'm just giving it some briefing about me <coughs> and asking it to complete to prepare um, a CV for me create a CV for me and write a cover letter for me let's see what it can do for me see it is giving me answer I would be happy to help you create a CV and cover letter and then it start with CV okay it is not creating a CV for me yeah it is more giving me some examples that how could I create a CV it is helping me <coughs> so this is one example of little bit inaccuracy okay it giving an example as well which is good CV name Nadia education work experience responsibilities see how interesting is that so basically it gave me first some tips on how to create a CV and cover letter and after that it started writing a sample CV for me and now it is writing a sample cover letter I am writing to apply for software developer position at that is a placeholder for the company how cool was that what do you think guys okay what more you could do now I will ask him some ask uh, this chatbot something totally different now I will ask not ask I will kind of give it instruction that um, write an essay for me on um, write an essay for me on chat GPT so I want it to write an essay for me on this topic chat GPT so that while it will be writing the answer an essay on chat GPT we will get to know what is chat GPT let's see <coughs> chat GPT is a ch chat bot powered by GPT-3 language model developed by OpenAI it is capable of generating human like responses to user input making it a useful tool for customer service language translation and other applications one of the key feature of chat GPT is ability to understand and respond to context for example if a user asks a question about the weather chat GPT can provide a relevant response based on the user's location how cool is that see quite good description it give briefly explain us what is chat GPT all about now I want to ask it what is 1 plus 20 let's see how cool is that it can do some calculation for me as well <coughs> that shows how smart it is now I want to know can you tell me a bit about beaches in Cape Town so now it is not only telling me generic about Cape Town beaches but it is naming the beaches as well I know there is a Clifton Beach in Cape Town Camps Bay Beach Muizenberg Beach so like this um, it is now let's talk about practical implementation practically like for the businesses where it is currently being used so as I said it is currently a research release so 
practically as such there are not there is no any implementations where through APIs it could use practically for any business however lots of people are already using it they taking they taking advantage of this uh, released uh, research based release version this one um, and already collecting a lot of data from chat GPT specifically one example is there is hundreds of bloggers out there the people who maintain their lots of websites and all what they do is they post articles and or blogs over the internet so how this is helping them is now they don't have to think too much about uh, the content of the blog they are a lot I know that they are a lot of them are using chat GPT to write their blogs and then they just copy paste so for example now imagine if I want to uh, if I, I am running a website on traveling tips then I will ask chat GPT write me a blog for traveling tips to USA let's see what it does See, even it, it is starting from the scratch from the very basics like to travel what do you require if you you require a visa so it starts with a visa choose destination make a budget how beautiful blog it is writing for you so then all you could do is just copy and paste to your WordPress blog and it goes live <coughs> overall USA is a fantastic destination for travelers so yeah this is now let's get to some code so not all of my viewers might know the detail of programming languages so I will stay with very basic like probably in today's era everybody know basics like HTML so for example can you write me a sample code of HTML see now it is writing a sample source code for me this is how an HTML basic HTML page looks like <coughs> now let's see I never tried this one before let's see how it does so for example this is a piece of code on PHP can you fix the error so so error I'm so for example what I will do is I am purposely making a mistake I will do a equals to hello world so I know what is the error now let me tell you what is the error here it's supposed to be this semicolon I will not put it in PHP programming this this is variable a, a equal to hello world but PHP does not understand like this letter A it needs to be like this I will not put it I want to check the smartness of this AI let's submit and then let's see if it can fix this see it fixed it for us <coughs> how intelligent it is it can fix the computer programming for us so for example if we are trying to write a code and we getting stuck it can fix for us programming languages issues not just programming language issues I you could be a scientist writing some scientific calculations you could post here it will help you in scientific calculations as well um, yeah so 
or you could be a mathematician you are trying to discover some working on some formulas or physics formulas or chemistry formulas it knows everything so for example give me formula of carbon dioxide co2 and what is the formula of water H2O. I think we all know that <laughs> formula of water is H2O. So it understands chemistry, physics, all aspects of life it understands. It's very interesting, this chat GPT. So many things it understands. We can generally talk about, uh, let's talk generally, like, how are you? Like general, like if it, does, it was just a bot and we just want to talk to somebody. Hi. How are you? I'm an artificial intelligence. Do not have feelings or emotion like human. Um, I think I love you. Do you love me? Let's see. <clears throat> okay, interesting answer that it doesn't have feelings. And asking how else one nice thing about it is for example if generally you go on the Google search and write my name now there or anybody's name you could get into people's uh, LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter profiles and get to know each other here in chat GPT it they collected so much of data however they are so far I don't know what will be the future but so far they are respecting the privacy for example, they will not tell anybody's personal information to us. So for example, if I want to know, tell me about Nadir Alisha, who lives in Cape Town, for example. <coughs> See, it doesn't tell about uh, people, but maybe it may tell us about like uh, figures figures like uh, tell me about Nelson Mandela yeah <coughs> it is telling us about some popular figures lots of people think that uh, chat GPT is a future Google I disagree on that because uh, why I disagree on that for instance after this chat GPT launched after that probably already there is so much more data over the across the internet so I wonder if all the time they are preparing and training a new model with new data <coughs> Uh, but I also know that uh, it is funded by Microsoft and to make ChatGPT, Microsoft funded to OpenAI about 1 billion US dollars to create ChatGPT. Then another interesting fact about ChatGPT, yeah that is it. How cool is that? it has its weakness as well as I said that I will tell you some limitations as well limitations okay let us think let me think of what could be the limitations yeah one of the limitations is uh, it will not tell us it will respect the privacy it will not tell us about people it may tell us it told us about some public figure like Nelson Mandela generally but not like if you are trying to know too much about somebody it will respect the privacy <clears throat> like it didn't told you anything about me when I asked about Nadir Alisha other limitations could be where it could get confused like if I go very deep in programming maybe sometimes it can get confused um for instance yeah what is the best programming 
language to develop APIs. So now I am not happy with this answer. I ask the best programming languages but the answer is generic that there are various programming languages that could be used to develop APIs. I'm not asking where, what programming languages could be used to develop APIs. I wanted to know the one best one. So this is where I see some limitations where I am not happy with the answer but I can argue with the question. So like I can ask now I can tell ChatGPT that I did not ask what languages could be used to develop an API I specifically would like to know one best language for API development let's see <coughs> you see it remembers my past conversation and it is apologizing if I could not understand so still the answer is generic it is not that smart to tell me exactly that oh if you want to create an API node.js is the best programming language for instance it didn't tell me that so it doesn't know which one is exactly the most perfect programming language so this is this is where I see the limitations of with chat GPT <coughs> like uh, it doesn't always know the exact exact knowledge where then it is still it doesn't really agree always it just try to give us a generic answer uh, that would be all for today I hope you enjoy understanding for what is chat GPT uh, yeah I also mentioned that I will tell you more about uh, open AI besides just the chat GPT so let's switch over to open AI.com And this is where the API section is so for example if you want to create your own softwares and want to access the power of OpenAI because OpenAI has some APIs as well it is not only about uh, chat GPT it has the full documentation it has its pricing you could see how much they charge <coughs> they have different types of models language models different pricing they have some documentation they have some example usage and then let me try to log in explore what's possible with some example application so they are giving us some example that wall what all we what type of things we could create using the now I'm not talking about chat GPT I'm talking about a standard open AI like the different types of products they have to offer if we use those <coughs> services what type of things we could create we could create chatbots for our business we could create family chat, friendly friend chat, convert simple JavaScript expression into so this is interesting that how to convert JavaScript into Python programming language. So for instance here we gave it some JavaScript code.
this is Python example. <coughs> JavaScript to Python example. But I will try more generic examples than just this sounds good. Grammar correction. Correct this to understand English. She know when to the market. Sample response. Now if you submit this text, it is correcting it. She did not go to the market. So this context content open AI is improving its grammar and how it is doing it by using this piece of source code if we use this source code if we submit this source code as an API request to open AI it will we could develop something like this that corrects the English grammar for us so like this these are all the samples they are just the samples what type of things we could do using open AI but there is a lot more we could do <coughs> This is interesting. SQL request. This is really mind blowing. We are telling it create a SQL request to find all users who live in California and have over thousand credits. So it itself generate the SQL source SQL query for us, which is nice using this source code. If we submit an open API request using this code to open AI then it has a capability to turn your English instructions into SQL queries. Then how to use OpenAI, how to as a um, to to integrate into your softwares. This is the complete uh, documentation here. You will have to go through this documentation API reference documentation. This is from it starts how to install open AI libraries to your server and authorization and how to start using it how to make request so all the information is here <coughs> just wanted to show you when you first time use open AI you don't have to buy just to anything just to use them I mean just to test them so this is my dashboard with OpenAI and just want to see manage account just want to see if I have a new account what do I have with them <coughs> by default I didn't use it for anything yet so this page will be empty settings members I actually wanted to check what free credits do I have? Pricing. <coughs> when I created the account, it was showing me somewhere <coughs> that I have some free free credits to access OpenAI. Anyway, I hope you liked what I displayed, provided you information about ChatGPT and OpenAI. Have a good day, guys. Goodbye. Please follow. Um, follow my channel for more good videos and like and comment. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.